Welcome back. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about a temperature afghan. So it's kind of a hot thing right now and uh, I've always wanted to kind of do one since I saw the first one a couple uh, last year. I think it was last year. So the first ones that I saw were like single crochet back and forth um, and if you do that it's recommended to use a uh, thinner, I think a sock weight yarn. Um, because otherwise it's 365, 366 rows and even even with single crochet that's a huge blanket so I I didn't I started one I started a wave one excuse me I started a wave one and it just after a week I measured it and I multiplied it by 52 and it was just gonna be humongous so I scrapped it so then I thought thought well maybe I'll do a corner to corner and then that will make it smaller well I was thinking each row would be a different day and that was going to be huge as well so um, I was looking around to see different ideas and um, I found one where you do a certain number of blocks in a corner to corner for each day and so um, that's what I did I I put it on an Excel spreadsheet so I'm going to show you how to do the Excel spreadsheet and whatever you do in the Excel spreadsheet you can definitely do on a piece of paper um, I just I'm good at Excel and I I know Excel extremely well so um, that's why I used Excel and I did start kind of on uh, paper last year but I moved to Excel and that's just kind of how I've done it so right here this is the blanket from last year so I've changed it a little bit um, so these are the colors so you're going to choose your temperature range and then you'll choose your colors so I no longer use this range or these colors well, I'll use some of these colors um, but I no longer use this range your range will depend on your location so if you get really cold if you're like in the probably in the northern United States you probably your scale will probably go farther into the cooler temperatures and maybe not as far into the warmer I don't I don't know your temperature ranges but ours we generally don't really go below 30 here in uh, New Mexico at least in Albuquerque I think you do in Santa Fe but not here in Albuquerque um, there was one year that it was extremely bad like what five years ago five six years ago anyway so your scale will depend on where you live so this is my scale and I went ahead and I attached the color of yarn that went with that scale so this was my old scale and my old yarn so let me go ahead and show you that. So this was for the year uh, 2016. Um, this I used Red Heart yarn. It's just it's easy to find and it's pretty affordable. It's extremely affordable. Um, so here's my Excel spreadsheet. The colors are not coming off as well on the camera as they are on the screen. Let's see. Okay, that's a little bit better. This tripod's kind of stiff. So you'll see my new temperature range is um, actually that's 0 to 39, not 30 to 39. Well, 30 to 39. Because um, I didn't, we didn't go below 30, I don't think, in 2016. And quick look, we did not, so I can just go ahead and leave it. So um, on this particular scale, I used white from 0 to 39, purple in the 40s. Blue 50s, green 60s, yellow 70s, um, orange 80s, um, red 90s, and like a dark burgundy in the 100s. So I use Excel to kindly visualize and um, have this printed out even on the screen if I were to do it. And what Excel actually is, it's not just for the visuals, it's for the math. There's some math involved in the corner to corner doing a certain number of squares per day. So let me show you what that is. So in the year 2016, there was 366 days. Let's see if the camera will, I think it's too zoomed in maybe. This camera's kind of old, okay. Okay, so there are 366 days in 2016. There are 300, 366 days in 2016 and 365 days in 2017. Um, 
So this first block is just the number of days per the year. That's a quick Google search, just in case it's a leap year or not. Um, so I went ahead and I put 13 squares per day. I multiplied 366 by 13 and it got 4,758. And then here's where you kind of uh, fool around with the math a little bit. So 69 rows, let's assume, let's just make the assumption that each square is about an inch squared, right? So 69 inches is pretty perfect for me. I'm not a tall person by any means and I don't want a huge blanket but long enough to cover me from head to toe so I'm what five foot three so this will definitely cover me with a couple of inches to spare um, so then I take the rows so this is where you're gonna experiment and I multiply I squared them so it's gonna be 69 because it's the square blanket so it's 69 rows and 69 rows or columns whatever you want to call them so 69 by 69 so you square that and you get 4,761. And you do 4,761, you subtract 4,758, and that just means you have three extra squares. You can decide what you do with these extra squares. You can put an extra square on uh, your birthday, you can put an extra square on an anniversary, you can put an extra square wherever you want. So I chose to evenly distribute the extra days. So I put 14, on the 1st of January, 14 on the 31st of December, so the first and last day of the year, and then right smack dab in the middle, I put an extra square. So you can do whatever you, you know, you find uh, works for you. That just worked for me. So this is uh, 366 days. Uh, there's my scale, and then you can see kind of the uh, visual representation of the blocks. I did not individually color each block. Um, you can do uh, conditional formatting. Um, it's not that difficult um, if you're familiar with Excel. If you're not, it could get a little tricky. Um, let's see if I can maybe maybe show you. So you see right there, conditional formatting, drop down. So you're gonna select. So you're gonna select the um, the part of the worksheet that you want to have conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and then you're going to do between because we're doing uh, between a temperature range. So you're going to do that and then you're going to go through it if you're familiar with um, Excel. If not, I can maybe go through that in another time. But that's how I did mine. I'm sure there are plenty of tutorials on online that are better than I can explain. So anyway, that is the year 2016. 366 days. So I did one for 2017, the one I want to do. So I changed the colors. You can completely do that. It is completely up to you. So let me show you another one that I, I did on Excel. Let me, let's say you want to do a single color, but you want to do a range. If you can find the range of shades, then go for it. It looks really neat um, on the computer. And, you know, go for it. It's, the scale is completely up to you. Okay, so here's 2017. Let's go ahead and look at the days. So 2017 has 365 days. Come on, camera. Okay, 365 days. So I kept the 13 squares a day because it just kind of worked, right? Uh, 4,745 squares, so the total number of squares changes. I did not change the, the size of the blanket, 69 by 69 but I subtracted it, so now we have 16 excess blocks. Again, you can do whatever you want with these blocks. You can put them on special days, space them out a certain way. So I spaced mine out evenly again throughout the year. I did an extra uh, four squares on the first day, an extra four squares on the last day, and then the um, equally spaced in the year. So um, I went ahead and I did the math, and about the 2nd of April and the 2nd of August are kind of quarters, so that's just what I did. So then there's my scale. It's the same scale. I don't think we got below 30 so far this year. Uh, I don't see it. Okay. So that's my scale. That's my new scale. Um, and that's where all these new colors are from. Sorry. I still need to do one of these just, just to have it. I don't actually need one since it's on my computer. Um, 
so and if you have if you're curious to see what the final product look like when you're done um, you can use a uh, grid paper graph paper or you can go ahead and use Excel like I have done and I went ahead and I filled in some blocks individually and so far that is the first month of 2017 that my blanket will look like so you just kinda go through and you fill in blocks with um, the uh, color right here the little paint can but that's that's how I did mine that's the math behind mine um, you can experiment. I haven't really experimented that much. None of these, if you use Excel, none of these numbers are set in stone. You can always change it. If you're curious, you can always go through it and, and play with the numbers. Put the numbers on the calculator. Um, I like to use this as, you know, I like to print it out and then that way I just have a visual representation of what color each day is without having to uh, write it down and since we're already in September and I haven't started so I can go ahead and start and just leave this alone until I have the next month or two and then start over again. and uh, just go from there um, where do I get my weather information I actually get my weather information from um, AccuWeather so you can just go on to uh, Google hopefully this works so I put um, Albuquerque, sorry, I pronounce it weird. Albuquerque weather, 20, let's say, this one will do 2016. You can do any year as you, every, any year you want as well. Like the year you were born, the year of your anniversary, the year your child was born. And AccuWeather should come up with, it should be the first link and it will come up. You can, uh, I think it usually comes up as a grid, but I go ahead and use the list and then it has the highs and the lows for that day. But that's just where I got my information. And then I just input each number into the appropriate block on the spreadsheet. So that's where I find my information. That's how I have organized my information. So I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know if um, there's anything in particular you want to see. Um, but that's just how I've done mine and that's how I will be doing mine. I have not started on this blanket yet um, or else I would show you something. But I haven't. I've had a whole bunch of other projects to do. But um, I should be starting this maybe today or tomorrow or something um, and just kind of get started. I kind of want to get the first month done um, just to see what it looks like because these are kind of fun. And you don't always have to do, you don't have to do a blanket. You can do um, a scarf. I've seen scarves. Those are pretty neat. I saw a really neat cat. Each row was um, a different uh, day. And you can, I think you can find that on uh, Ravelry. You probably can find that on Pinterest, actually, pretty easy. Temperature cat. So you can pretty much use whatever you want with enough rows. Um, you can use, I mean, the options are endless depending on what you want to do. This is just what I wanted to do since I don't wear scarves. Um, and I don't really know a lot of people who do. So, I mean, even as a gift, a, a scarf wouldn't have been that great. But this is what I'm doing. Um, again, I hope it was somewhat in enlightening or helpful. Um, just play around with it, have fun, and, you know, by all means, use the numbers I have provided and have at it. So, I, I only have 2016 and 2017. Um, I don't foresee any other years, but maybe I'll just do maybe my birth year for, for you know, just to see it. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, other than that... Thanks for watching, and uh, I will see I will see you like on Friday, or with my with another uh, crochet with me. I, I might work on this on that one. Who knows? So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.